We just, we just. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How may I help you today? Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're doing a rehouse. It's part two of the unboxing from the spider shop. Um, you would have seen in the last one where Lucy and I did all the little enclosures and we put them up there. So they're all done Thank on you. that shelf and they look lush, those tip top ones. But today is these two, and as it says on the front, the Pulsiferia Vitata. Is that the ghost? Ghost ornamental. Yeah, the ghost oh. ornamental. So I've already done the enclosures. These are two that I've got are the larger ones from the tip top shop. And they are 1,050 mil. But we actually got these as well from, was it B&M? Yep. So you can get them in there. But for some reason at the minute, they're just out of stock absolutely everywhere. So tip top shops got them, wait a week and you get them all delivered and they're only a couple of quid. So we got those. I did all the drilling down the side. Uh, glued a uh, water dish in and then just put the cork bark and it also did a couple of leaves on the top which we've glued in and then just some gravel at the bottom and some substrate but the gravel at the bottom as well is meshed just so they don't burrow all the way down and we get the difference where we can put some excess moisture in the bottom if it's needed so they've both got water in and hiding places and I think they look really really nice so we're just going to go into rehousing these but I'm not doing it because like I said these are Lucy so let me just get on the camera and then Lucy can do it hello how may I help you today it's very official <laughs> I feel official like I need a telephone should we just do it then we just, we just <laughs> All I got to do is look at you, you're not laughing. Right, let's go. Do it. Which one are you starting do it, with, do babe? It, do it. Excuse my messy desk. Yeah, you need to clean up. Right. So, why did you like these more than all the other? The colours. Um, they actually, I th <laughs> they look like bird poo on a tree. Yeah, the pattern. Yeah. They tell you, I'll put um, a picture up there next to Lucy so you can yeah, see what she's on like about. A, like a giant seagulls poo or something what is um, that why you like them yeah i love it <laughs> um no because they are although it looks like bird poo it's white with like yeah. a dark gray and it's just i don't know they look quite when it to do with their temperament as well because we had the tigs they're bolder mm. a bit more confident tigs skitty nutty little <laughs> want to hide but, these but you like the temperament of the ghost ones yeah. didn't you uh, quite, they're a bit like um Metallica's just quite bold. Can they still bite? Um, I, technically they can, but I think because of the size of them, I don't think they would can pierce our skin. Yeah, would it penetrate my skin? Yeah, but they're they're faster. That's the only thing. So hmm. I think they're only small, two centimeters. I already opened them up. They're quite chilled. Oh look, you're so cute. Yeah. See, oh, you can see some coloration on that already. Yeah, look at that. You can see it, and it's just all scrunched up at the minute, but that will fan out. Yeah, I don't think you have any problems with that at all going in there. That looks totally small to go in that enclosure, but it will be fine because we've done it with all the others. There you go. You can even tap it with your finger on that one. Yeah, that's true. I love you already. Look at my little bird poo. Call him Squits. And we put the leaves in as well, just so they don't feel that threatened if they want to sit out on the cork bark. Because this species matches the colour of the cork bark, they'll sit on it if they feel they've got like a roof on the top. I want you to go on the leaf, little dude. See how chilled they are? I love him. I'm gonna go. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. We need to go on the bark. I'll probably see if they need feeding in the next day or so. I'll go this way, sweet pea. Mm -hmm. Go up on your fingers. Lovely colours, really light. Oh, <laughs> new 
favourites. Look at his little <laughs> boots. Hey, little boots. Stay there, stay there. I love how they go fatter here. On the, on the end of their feet, yeah. yeah. Like he's got little boots. That is a beautiful coloration. The aminias are like that. I love that they love the little snow boots. Oh, the pea aminias. Yeah. There you go. Oh, now I've got the tissue stuck. There we go. There we go. So it's in. You are super And that cute. is a good size for it in here. Obviously, you could easily put it in a smaller enclosure, but we don't do that here at Gav's Tarantulas. We like them <laughs> in roomy enclosures, and we spend, sometimes if it takes me 20 minutes to feed one sling, it takes me 20 minutes to find it and encourage it. But that's what we do. But then you have to rehouse it less, don't you? So yeah. then it's less stressed, less often. Yeah, we're not going to get a good shot of that. Bye-bye, they... gorgeous. Where's it gone? There it is. So it's right down there by the label. Oh, and what Lucy and I have also been doing the last couple of days is ventral sexing uh, pokies. And we found out that it's actually really easy to ventral sex a pokey, didn't we? Yeah. With the Most. shape in between the book lungs, it is actually easier than what we thought. So we just sexed our P metallicas and we've got male and female, which is quit in. So I might have a little look at this later. Grab and twist. Yeah, coloration straight away. Hello. Love these. Hello, little baby. Because even the Saba Blue I put in double the size enclosure, and they've done fine already, and they've power eaten, aren't they? Yeah. And they've molted and got bigger, so... Oh, no, 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 he's going to panic. I don't want to go down. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he's like, you go for it. Where did he go? Bright light. He did, he freaked out, didn't he? It's alright, Gizmo. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it now. You're going to have to name that one Gizmo. <laughs> it's alright, Gizmo. It's perfect colour to the court bark. Can you get him to go on? Go on. Oh, careful there, he's gone under. That's it. Look at that on the leaf. <laughs> oh, look at that with the eyes. That is just brilliant. I love how the camera shows up their eyes. sat on a leaf. On a, leaf. <laughs> <laughs> a real leaf on a fake leaf. Bye bye. And there we go. Yeah. So there we have it. I love those enclosures. There's one there. I like how clear they are. One on the leaf. Yeah, it is. It's really, really clear. Yeah. But then all of these ones are that we've got up there. They just look really, really good. Yeah, clean and fresh. Yeah. So we like those. So that's it. That's our video done. Nice. <laughs> like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. <laughs> 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 Say it like normal. Thanks for watching, people. Thanks for watching. You may not alligator. Anyway, crocodile. You are aware I'm recording. <laughs> right, so thanks very much for watching, guys, and we will see you on the next video. Noise. Laters. Bye.